Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Fleur. This is a yin yang session about 30 minutes long and I invite you to use this practice as ex to explore your body, explore what's going on within you. We're going to work on strengthening the back today and then releasing some beautiful forward folds to ground us again. Now, just to let you know, I am about halfway through my pregnancy with a small bump. This does not mean that if you are pregnant, this is a suitable practice for you. So please be mindful if you are pregnant. Uh, if you see me being, you know, quite strong, it's because I have a quite strong practice myself, even before I was pregnant. Just making you aware of this in case you think, oh look, she's doing that. Just to make you aware, I'm used to it and I know how to modify. So ignore this. I'm going to tell you what I can and can't do. So some things I will just tell you about. But let's start with our practice. So come to the front of your mat and you can have your feet hip width apart, which is what I'm going to do. And otherwise you can bring the feet together touching and the heels slightly apart. We're going to start with a quite strong warm up and then we're going to enter into the poses and then into the yin after about halfway through. Bring your hands by your side, close your eyes and feel first of all how you're standing. Where do you feel that like you feel heavy? Where do you feel light? And just notice how the balance is in both of your feet. Do you feel even in the way you're standing? And then see if you can bring the weight slightly back into your heels until you might, might feel the thighs are activating and lifting slightly up. And then think of softening your lower back just slightly down. So you engage and lift up through the lower abdominal muscles. And soften your ribs in so you don't push up the chest. Keep the chins gently touched so the back of the neck can lengthen. And then begin to breathe a little deeper. So we want to use a breath called Ujjayi breathing, which is a victorious breath. It sounds like a sigh at the back of your throat. So not too strenuous, just a soft hissing sound at the back of the throat, as if you're sighing in and out through your nose. Which of you hear it through my phone, headphones, but let's see. This is a sound, it sounds like the ocean waves. Notice how you can expand that breath by breathing into the sides of the ribs, not only into the belly. And slightly keeping that belly engaged. Just take a few more rounds to breathe. Because you want to connect to the breath and the practice, you don't just want to move through the asanas, move through the vinyasas, which is a movement, you want to link it to the breath. So keeping the breath steady, using it as your guide. Long breath in and out. And then placing your hands to your heart center if you like and set an intention for your practice. Or send your energy out to someone who needs energy or love today. Take a deep breath in again. And as you exhale, open your eyes, bring the arms by the side. Inhale, if you have space, out to the side, otherwise forward. Lift your heart up, look up to the palms, stretch up. Think of lengthening those arms nice and high. If it's uncomfortable, if you bring the hands together, just keep them apart. And then exhale, bring the hands together, fold forward, Uttanasana, head to the shins if you need to bend your knees slightly. Inhale, come up halfway, open the chest, straighten the back, try to lift so that you can find that long back, hands to the floor, step back, high plank, and then bend your elbows, chest forward, chin forward, if you need to bend your knees onto the floor, inhale, roll yourself forward onto your belly, I'm not going to roll myself onto the belly, and come to your lower ribs, or if you like, a little higher, with your elbows still bent, which is what I want to do, and as you exhale, tuck your toes, push back into a downward facing dog. First dog, so see if you can walk out through the heels, press the hands into the floor, fingers slightly out to the side, keep lifting up, so you want to avoid the shoulders uh, underneath, so the hands under the shoulders and the head forward, you want to draw this all back and feeling the hamstrings by just warming them up a little bit here. Good. Taking a breath in and then find stillness in the pose, wherever you are, you might need to bend the knees a little bit and draw the heart through the arms. Rotate the upper arms a little away from your ears 
And just take three breaths here while you try to draw the heels down. Don't worry if they don't come down just yet. Breathing out. Breathing again in a deep breath. Exhaling. Think of lengthening from the heart to the hips. And one more. Exhaling. Inhaling. Look forward and step or walk to the front. Open the chest halfway. And exhale, fold down, Uttanasana. Inhale, press into the feet. Lift up the chest and reach the arms all the way up. And let's do that again. Exhale, folding down. Let the head hang. Come up halfway, expand the heart. Fingertips or hands to shins or thighs. Hands to the floor. Step yourself back. Maybe use the other leg this time. And then bend your elbows as you exhale. Inhale into your low cobra. Or if you're feeling confident, upward dog. So hips go forward and down, roll the shoulders back, the knees off the floor, toes are pointed. Exhaling back into down facing dog. And again, three breaths, find the position. Inhaling for one. Exhale for one, arms active, nice and strong. Inhaling for two, head soft, so draw the chin to the chest. Exhaling, belly draws in. And for three, exhaling three, look forward, inhale, step the same leg to the front, spicing it up, lengthen halfway, exhale, belly and fold, breathe in, lift the arms up, press into the feet, high rise, and again, exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana, getting our body warm, halfway up, lengthen the spine, Hands to the floor, step yourself back, high plank and bend your elbows, chaturanga, chin forward, elbows back. Inhale into your low cobra, upward dog, exhaling, roll the hips back, tuck the toes, downward dog. Three breath again, inhaling for one, exhale for one, inhale for two, exhale for two, hmm. one more. Three. Maybe it's a little bit easier now. Exhale, three. We're going to do some more both variations. Inhale, look forward. Step to the front. Lengthen halfway. And exhale, fold down. Reach your arms up. Look up as you inhale. And again, folding forward. Uttanasana. Halfway up. Expand the heart. And step yourself back. High plank, chaturanga. Now if you like, bend your knees down. I'm going to push back into plank. Push into plank. Inhaling, I'm, I brought my knees down because I don't want to collapse my lower back. And then exhale, chaturanga. And again, push the floor away into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. So I have my knees down because what often happens, if you do this three more times, is if you come from your plank, the lower back sort of collapses and you keep your arms straight. So bringing the knees down is a good way to train yourself to keep the elbows bending backwards and strengthening those triceps. Let's do one more. Bend the elbows and then into your low cobra or upward dog. And exhaling back to your downward dog. Well done. Hold it here. Three breaths. Inhale for one. Exhale for one. Inhaling for two. Exhale for two. Inhale for three. And exhale for three. Now we're going to come forward into a plank again. Roll through the spine. Inhale. Forward into a plank. Squeeze your glutes. Chest forward. Squeeze the legs. Hang the floor. Exhale into downward dog. Press the hands into the floor, but you're pushing something forward. And again, inhale into plank. Draw the belly in, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the legs. Exhale back into your downward dog. And one more, inhaling into your plank. And exhale into downward dog. Bend your knees, look forward. Come to the front of the mat. Open the chest halfway. And exhale, fold into nasana. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. And bring the hands to the heart, Samasiti. Good. Bit warmer. Now from here, bring your weight slightly into the left foot. 
Take a breath in, I'm going to just turn slightly sideways so you can see and lift up your right knee. Good, from here, breathe out. Bend your left knee and reach your right leg back and your arms back. Inhale, slowly bend the left knee. Step right foot back, come into a high lunge, breathe in. And as you exhale, bring the hands to the floor, come to standing splits. Beautiful, inhaling. Chest forward, bend the left knee, come back into your lunge, open the heart, and exhale, push the floor away, lift the right knee up, arms back, and then bring it down, other side, inhale, left knee up, arms up, stretch the arms high, exhale, bend the right knee, into flying warrior, that's it, reach the foot back, bend your right knee, left foot comes down, inhale into a high lunge, Open the heart, exhale, hands to the floor, into standing splits. Into high lunge again, inhale, left leg back, reach your arms up. Beautiful, exhale, bring the left knee up, reach your arms back, and step it down. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, right knee up, high, exhale, flying warrior, arms go back, chest forwards, breathe. Inhale, high lunge, bend left knee, reach your arms up, open the chest, squeeze your right glute, standing splits, hands to the floor, right leg up. Back to your high lunge, inhaling. And as you exhale, press the floor away, lift the right knee up, arms go back, and step it down. Last round, breathe in, left knee up. Flying warrior, chest comes forward, left leg back, arms reach back. Into your high lunge, bend your right knee gracefully, stepping left foot back and arms up. Standing splits, left leg up, hands to the floor. Draw yourself to the right leg. High lunge, left leg back, breathe and reach your arms up. And, oops. <laughs> Exhale, step the left knee up, so bring the left knee up, arms go back and step yourself down. Well done. One vinyasa, arms reach up to the sky and exhale, fold forward. Halfway up, expand the heart. Are you warm? Step yourself back, high plank. Good. Hold high plank, one breath here. And as you exhale, bring your knees down, chaturanga or full version into your low cobra or upward dog, open the heart. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Good. From here, bring the big toes touching. Lift up the right leg into the sky. Bend your right knee. Squeeze the heel to the buttocks. But keep the knee facing backwards. So not out to the right side. So keep it uh, lengthening back. And then try to lift the thigh high. Draw the chest through the arms. And then try to pull the right heel towards the left buttock but still not drawing the knee out of the side. So you want to feel at the front of your thigh. Good. If you like more, see if you can reach even further back. And then stepping the right foot down to the other side, left leg up. Bend the left knee. And squeeze the heel up to the buttocks. Draw the arms through. So push the chest through the arms. And then squeeze the left heel towards the right buttock without the knee Opening to the side this time. Deep breath in. And placing the foot down. Good. Let's come from here onto our knees. Stretch your arms forwards. Length of the arms nice and long. Bring the forehead on the floor. Tuck the back toes. And just take a little breath here. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Deep breath in. And out. One more. And up. And then coming back, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Coming into a little cat cow. So as you open the chest, inhale. And as you exhale, round the spine. Look to the belly. Push the hands on the floor. Spread the shoulder blades. And again, inhale, open the chest. And as you exhale, round. Last time. Inhaling to open through the heart. 
little prep here, exhaling to round. Lovely. And then from here coming onto your, sorry, onto your knees. Sit back. Onto your, big, onto your big toes, onto your toes. Take a little toe stretch. If this is too intense, just bring the fingertips on the floor. Let's see if you can just hold it here for a moment, spreading the toes nicely on the mat. And then coming up onto your knees. If you need to roll your mat over, so take a little roll in the mat so the knees are padded. Good. And then from here, having the hands onto your lower back with the fingers pointing down, roll your shoulders back. And then think of just the tailbone lengthening to the inside of your knees without sort of squeezing the glutes too much. You want to just think of softening, tilting your tailbone slightly down. Think of squeezing something between your legs a little bit. If you have a block handy, you can use it, or a book or a pillow, so you have something to squeeze and feel the inner thighs engaged here. And then without thinking of leaning back, think of lifting from your back ribs upwards. So you feel like you're not pushing your bum out of the back, the bum is slightly tilted, you're squeezing something between your legs and then open the chest. If it feels uncomfortable for your neck, keep the chin slightly tucked and draw the heart up rather than thinking back. Hold it here. If you feel comfortable, you can try to reach with your fingertips towards your heels. And just take a little stretch here into the heart. Don't go too far. It's not about ambition. Nice long breath. And to come up, bring the hands back onto the lower back. Roll yourself up and then sit back. Remove your block your pillow, your cushion, but have it handy, you might use it, it's me putting it away, <laughs> and let's from here roll onto our back, the last little exercise for some back movement, lie on the back, and then place the feet not too close to your sit bones, arms by the side, take a breath in, and then lift up the hips, press down into your feet, and just feel this sensation of the back of the legs activating. Make sure the knees don't reach forward, so if the heels are too close to you, this might feel uncomfortable, so you want to keep the knees over the ankles, rock, draw your shoulders underneath you and press down, so you want to open through the middle of the back. If you can, see if you can wriggle your hands underneath you and give your lower back just a little massage by just rocking side to side and your thumbs dig a little bit into the middle back and see if that helps you lift a little higher. So a little release, a little rocking, and a little lift here through the back. Take another breath in and slowly roll down upper middle and lower back. Good. Well done and then just drop your knees side to side and let's come from here into our yin part just letting the energy soften now a little bit. Bring your knees into your chest. Give them a hug. I'm opening mine a little wider because of my belly. And you can rock a little side to side. A little release for the back now. And then from here, if you have a pillow, a towel, or a block, or you can just use your hands, place them underneath your sit bones. And then lift your legs up into the sky. You can just float them there for a moment. So if it feels comfortable with the hands under your buttocks or if you have a block you can maybe hold and just take a few moments here with the legs up in the air. There might be many bends, that's fine as well. Let your breath just regulate here. I'm going to bring my legs down. Keep breathing slowly and steadily. The legs up in the air. Maybe close your eyes. Just notice this energy of the legs, the energy of the legs coming down or into the torso. And then 
and taking a deep breath in and on your exhale just bend one knee then the other and place the legs back down take a breath and lift your hips from your hands or from your block or bolster roll yourself back down and then from here roll yourself over to one side and slowly come up to a seated position let's come from here to look at forward fold so you can open your legs a little bit wider if you like that's what i'm going to do and then if you're feeling quite stiff in the lower back just bend your knees a little bit or maybe sit on something like a towel or a pillow so you can just fold forward and release the lower back try to avoid pulling on your hand uh, pulling on your feet with your hands so you feel the round back so if you notice you can't come any further forward just bend your knees slightly so that you have a bit more of a hinge here in the hips so you can relax the arms and that there's no tension trying to reach anywhere someone takes a bit of time to relax the legs so you can give them a little shake what you do do if you're quite open and your knees sort of fall out to the side you can bring your thumbs under the calves so that the legs don't roll out to the side And then take at least 10 deep breath here. Really slow, deep breath. And with each exhale, just imagine that you're allowing your body a little bit more to soften, that the head becomes even heavier, that the lower back opens a little bit more. And then a lovely deep breath in. And exhaling out through the mouth if that feels good. And then roll yourself back up. Um, let's come from here into a little side bend. So placing the right leg in, bending the right leg. I'm going to so if you've got the same direction as me. Yeah. And then from here, placing one hand to the in your, is that your left hand to the inside of your foot. Uh, and just see if you have again a pillow you might want to place this to the inside of your leg so you can rest the elbow or the hand on it and let the head relax and either rest the hand on your thigh or behind your back and grab your pants and try to avoid rolling in with the shoulders so just take a little gentle lift through your chest and again just 10 deep breath here should feel quite relaxing so just see if you can make it even more you know like even more relaxing if you need to adjust Come out, just draw the chin to the armpit, and then with the hands, roll yourself slowly up. Nice and carefully, and then just come to the other side. Other leg out, maybe something in the inside of the leg, or you can just bring the hand where it falls as you lean to the side. And then the hand can go again behind your back if that feel, felt good. And then feel that neck release, and that might be the most intense sensation. And no straining, just letting yourself soften here.
deep breath in again. And exhaling out. And then draw, look down to the armpit very carefully. Reach the other arm away, that's behind your back, roll yourself back up. Get your neck a bit softer, see if it feels okay. And then just last forward fold from here. You might just come to just a gentle child's pose before we end. So just open the knees quite wide. And you can rest your forehead on your hands. Let the arms slide out and just take these this time to fully relax the body. Now, like a meditation, just let your body relax here. Feel that your whole weight can be softening into the floor. Lower back releases, shoulders release. The weight of the head can just soften into the ground. Belly gets gently massaged. And then take a deep breath in through the nose and on your exhale, just a big sigh out through the mouth. And let's do one more activity, pressing the hands into the floor. One more little vinyasa with the knees again underneath you. Push back into a downward dog, just to see how it feels now after all these little movements we've done. And then come forward into plank, breathe in. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga, or knees down. Open the heart, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. And then walk through to lie on the back, step through. We'll bring the hips down and put them on one side. Stretch your legs out, a little core exercise, wish your arms full. If you like, just roll yourself back, which I'm not gonna do, but you can roll yourself back onto your back. And as you lie back, squeeze everything, so open your legs wide, open your arms to the side, make hands, make fists with your hands, push everything in the floor, draw the shoulder blades down, make your face into a tight, little squeezy face, <laughs> draw the belly and squeeze your glutes, push the feet down to the floor, there's someone's trying to pick you up and you're like, no, I'm staying on the floor, I'm staying on the floor, take a deep breath in, and then relax everything. <sighs> And just feel that sensation of just spreading onto the floor. Nice and relaxed. Let the heartbeat start to soften. Let everything become really soft. I'm just going to come back up. But you can stay down. And then as you lie there, let the breath become again your natural rhythm. And then feel how your feet can relax. All ten toes become really soft. Your ankles, your lower legs and your knees, your thighs, your hips, your belly, and your torso. Everything becomes soft. And then your arms are just lying there by the side. And relax your hands, letting the fingers just curl naturally. Relax the throat and the jaw. Relax your face, soften the cheeks and the area between your eyebrows. Everything is now calm and soft. Shavasana, your final resting place. So 
just for a few moments, nothing to do and nowhere to be other than here with yourself. And then when you're ready, of course you can lie here longer, take a deep breath in, feel the body on the floor and you can sigh it out and in your own time begin to move your fingers, your toes, maybe take a little stretch, arms over the head, you know, make yourself really long like an arrow. And then you can roll yourself over to one side or roll yourself up and down by taking the hands behind your knees and giving yourself a little bit of momentum. If you're lying on your side, place the top hand in front of your chest and push the floor away, keeping the neck soft and finding again your seated position. Any way that makes the spine nice and long so you don't slouch the chest inwards to shine your heart open. Close your eyes again if they were open and take a few moments to feel your upright position, the seated and the breath. And try and maintain that smooth flow of air in and out. Place your hands to your heart center and lift the heart of the hands and remind yourself of your intention and see if you honor this throughout the practice today or if you can honor it a little bit further after your time on the mat, maybe in your everyday life. How can you incorporate what you experience so that every, every day becomes a yoga practice and everything becomes yoga? And if you send out energy and love, then Send it out again and imagine you're getting the same back. And let's close with a mantra on taking a deep breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. And inhale to chant. Namaste everyone, thank you so much for joining me, have a wonderful rest of the day.